Hello, I had previously posted a video about installing Flash Floppy firmware into a GoTech floppy drive emulator, and since then a better method has been put out there. My previous method works okay, but this new method is easier, and now I recommend it. The new method does not require as much soldering, and it doesn't require the purchase of a USB to TTL adapter board. All you need is a cable with a USB Type-A connector on both sides. You can buy this on Amazon and I will put a link in the description. This cable will allow you to plug the GoTech directly into your PC via USB and there are no other connections needed. You will however have to solder two connections on your GoTech to enable the USB and allow flashing the firmware. So you need to either buy a USB cable or grab two unused USB cables and splice them together. You will also need a soldering iron and some scrap wire to short the connections. You will be cutting them off after you are done. You also need the latest Flash Floppy firmware and you need to download a different utility to flash the GoTech. First, remove the case top from the GoTech. You don't even need to take the board out for this procedure. Add some solder to the specified existing pads. Next, solder some jumpers as shown. The one to the right is to enable the front USB port. The connection to the left is to write enable programming of the GoTex firmware. Okay, so the actual program has kind of a weird name as far as if you're looking for it. Um, here's the link right here, stsw-stm32080. Um, the new software, or this updated software is called Diffuse. It's kind of a play on words because the file that you're using is a DFU uh, file. So we're gonna click that and and there's an option down here to get the software. And it agrees, it wants you to do a EULA. And then it's gonna want you to do, now I've, I've already filled this out, but it's gonna want you to, they wanna send you an email. But anyway, once you do that, you'll be able to download it. I have already downloaded it. And I'll show you that. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna double click the EXE and extract it. Now this includes a few different programs plus the driver, the USB driver. Um, you may or may not need to, um, you may or may not need to install the driver. In my case, I didn't. Okay, because it brings up the README and everything. All right, so um, you'll know if you need to do the driver because when you plug the GoTech in, here's what it does though. It actually, you'll watch this happen three times. There's one, two, and three. And then you'll see that it comes up here. Very strange, I'm not sure why it does that. Some kind of boot up process with the GoTech where it, it it gets recognized. And then I get an error saying that, you know, it doesn't recognize it, but it's working, trust me. So if for some reason you didn't have the uh, device here, or for some reason when you have trouble um, flashing it, uh, you might need to update the, the driver. So, um, 
I'm going to bring up Device Manager. You just press the Windows key and type Device, and, you'll, and Device Manager is right there. You can get into it. So um, here it is right here. And you can right click on it and you can say update driver and you can browse my computer and you just need to find out where you've installed the uh, software because yeah STM microelectronics 304 bin for binary then you hit driver and then it's Windows 8 is you know most people have Windows 10 that's Windows 8 is the same then you're going to go x64 select that and then you can go next and, and but in this case if i do that it'll tell me that windows already has the best driver so if you have an updated patched version of windows i imagine you won't have any problems seeing the drive so on to the next part we need to load um the firmware, the flash floppy firmware. And there's another video that indicates clicking here. Uh, I don't know why that is, because when you hit that, you can see that it says save, and that is not what we want to do. We want to load. This is some kind of save configuration or save the flash file, maybe get it off of the GoTech and save it or something. But really what you want to do is, everything you want to do is in this box over here. You want to choose the file. And what's nice is included with flash floppy, the latest version, this is, happens to be 2.13, it includes the DFU file. So you don't need to do any kind of conversion or anything. It's included in Flash Floppy. So we're going to open that. And it's correctly loaded, so we're actually ready to go here. And all we need to do is click Upgrade. Now this is where it's going to be. Okay, so it's you're saying it needs to remove the read protection. There's a read protection on the GoTech by default. Um, so we're going to click yes and what's going to happen is it's going to eject and then it's going to need to, it's acting like you plugged it back in. So it's going to have to do those three things, those, those three plug-in, it's acting like it's getting plugged in three times. Now when that's all done, just need to make sure that's all done, you got the three plug-ins, then you can click yes and it'll erase and download into the GoTech. And that is it. Quit the program, eject the GoTech, well, unplug it. We're just going to plug it into my test Amiga, which is an Amiga 500, and verify that it loads uh, tracks. You'll get a track display on the GoTech itself, indicating what track it's on. And in this case, it's loading Amiga Test Kit, which actually only occupies the first three tracks of the floppy image. So everything tests okay. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.